No, no, not all in. They go well. They go really well late game. Like you, your mid to late game fight with Night Stalker Vision Control setting up for the Bat Rider Lassos, uh, Death Prophet. Jug, both can scale well with that. Just that, yeah, it's obvious it looks really awkward and embarrassing. Oh, definitely Viz. Does kick her back instead just for the boulder smash. And look at this double TP's coming out, but they're going to be too late. The well, CTY made the spin and on cue, Nightfall, but Moon quick on the trigger. Oh! oh man, with the setup, with the last. Nicely nice. done. Pugna coming bottom needs to be a bit careful here. Oh, Stun, roll. And there comes Moon, right into a Sunstrike, and that will lead to the kill. Comes it on up. Moon, charging out, looking to go for another grab here on Lanham, who just returned from the last takedown, and they're going in deep under the Tier 2. Lanham's ward's already down, but it's not going to matter too much, but this is a farming game, it looks like, for CTY, unless the opportunity does approach, and Lanham back again. Oh, self to Krabify, but that only enhances the Sunstrike damage, and the is SNY, bottom lane! Is it going to be five? Lanham holding out as his team is rotating in, and Moon's just like, I'm not about this life anymore, but fly, uh-oh. Gets in a bit too close, and they quickly pounce onto the Oracle here. Fights. Here comes E-Home. Still okay. Nightfall. Clear. They're smoked in from behind. They're going to pop the Darkness now. They're making a move for Moon. No, they're changing targets. They go for Fly instead. The man who might be able to save him with the False Promise. Can they burst him down in time? Yes, they can. They're also making a move for Miracle. CTY sets it up with a beautiful Omni Slash and will be able to take him down. Crit says, I got to go. OG have that up. They're going to use that vision. They have Very to fight cool. right now if they want to fight without a Nether Ward being a problem. It looks like they will. They make their charge for 11, bump them back, kick stone, full silence. Batrider, he's going to be going down. Well, pretty confident with their position now that Batrider doesn't seem to be a threat. That will kick stun into a sun strike, into a charge, and next thing you know, the Death Prophet is just taken out. And they got the, the Pugna Ward too, so. Nether Ward already dropped. Sun Strike softens him up. Now Moon says it's time to go. They move in past the Nether Ward here. And Jug has already grabbed up the Aegis. And now OG might need to consider getting the hell back, but they can't make it away. If Eleven steps in and gets the pullback for Fly, they quickly take him on it. Now we're going to see Crit committing in the Magnetize, but oh my goodness, he cannot withstand that mighty Omni Slash coming out. No, it's now looking to go in. Put it up to work here, but all the meanwhile, Old Chicken is going to be able to just isolate and help take down Moon. Turn Let's see, the sonar to be able to catch someone out. No tail looking to make a move for DP. DP pops the BKB and the Yules here. Gonna be set up. There's gonna be the catch of the Yules. Looking to pull back crit, but there's the false promise to counter it out. Still rolling boulder away from trouble. And now they're looking for old chicken still. E home. Can they be able to force OG back here? Long stun, death property trouble, but look at land. I'm handing over his life right now, keeping her alive and well while CTY oh. diving deep with the assistance of the Omni Slash. Not gonna be enough to take down No Tail. Have OG been able to hold? It looks like they have. They get up the nice magnetized, good flame break. Will stop down Moon, but here comes Miracle now. Set up the beautiful Yules. Silence is gonna be there. CTY gets a good four staff save, but it's not gonna be enough. Purifying Flame is gonna be the finishing blow to take him down, and now they look for Kaka, and Kaka's got the gem. Will they be able to get him right here? He turned the corner, and he's looking to hustle on out of there, but Moon is gonna get the catch-up play, and they'll be able to get him. That's a gem to the side of OG. Land him now. Getting picked off, potentially from Miracle here. He's trying to man up on him right now, but no, you can't do that. Cold Snap's going to be there. Don't plate mail here. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, CTY pops his BKP so he can just happily slide across the ice and skate his way into a big Omni Slash and slashes apart Miracle. That's a They come again. Third try. Can they take down the Rax Exorcist? Now committed. There's the ward on out. Make the move for CTY. The sound's going to be there, but they get the Lotus here. Was complete on the moon. He oh, dishes on himself, but... Now we see a Miracle committing on him with the help of the PKB. Is he going to be able to burst through Old Chicken with all that extra life? Oh, gets healed right on up with the assistance of the Cheese, and now turns it right back into a 180. It's a dive Looking to go, and suddenly Miracle's going to be down and out. 90 seconds, no buyback for him. He is out for good, and this is Ehome's chance to just take the game and take the series and segue right to the Grand Finals. Can they do it? Busting back, no tail right now. Not going to be able to burst him down. Crit helps out with a good stun right there. And CTY, going to be Fates Edict, he cannot right click right now, it is going to be taken down, and he goes for the racks, changes course, they move forward, they are going to be able to take down both the bad and the death prophet, now CTY moves in, fly with a double kill though, gets the response, and no tail, going to be forced to buy back here, stun back, silence, Kaka is going to be taken down, it looks like, there he goes, CTY on the comeback, the rebirth from his Aegis here, Blade Fury away, and him and Lom, two survivors right now, oh nicely timed with the kick, waiting for the Blade Fury to stop, Lanham still close by, there's an Omni Slash. And it looks like he's going to go for a retreat. Not the best Omni Slash. Ward is down. <laughs> Lanham trying to help him still from afar. Is he going to even try to assist with even more? He doesn't have any more mana. 
to crep to avoid the additional right click. And look at that. Eleven's back now. Sweeps on in. Flame break back for crit. Promise. Oh, good magic. Damage reduction with the help of the Fates Edict there coming out from Fly. Oh. And OG will die back from Invoker back. and it forced oh. to get back. But e home. Eho moving in. Nice. 11, gonna be in there. Gets the lasso, bumps back crit now too. Gets the pull on for Fly, can they burst him apart? He's gonna go ahead and get off the Fates Edict. Enchant Remnant pull, kick him away to safety. No, not enough. So he's gonna be forced to false promise himself to try to stay alive here. And eventually he will pop at the back end of this one, it looks like, but they've already moved forward for the next target. 11, potentially caught out, will get assisted there from Lanham. But the blink off the Yules, 11's mechanics are just insane. With the Crepify. Preventing, I think, that little bit of, what, 50 damage? Now Kaka, but he gets set back, he also gets it. The ward is going to be down, and begins to go to hefty work here across the team of OG. Fly's going to be forced to buy back here. Moon, right in the mix, quickly goes down. There's the Omni Slash coming out from CTY. Oh, so detection, immediately takes him down, and yeah, they don't have the detection. It's a follow-up with the additional damage. Crit, nice two-man stun. Slack and Book both going at right buyback, but Tyrus cannot afford yeah. to die. Crit is too far out from base. He's going to be forced oh, to pop the back ties. Get him off right now, and... They're hustled back at the base now. He's Meanwhile, they change course. They're going to get the catch. No tail is out, and he has no buyback. That could have just done it right then and there. Miracle, the last hope for OG. Tornado stopped the lasso, too. Miracle's still alive for now. Keeping him back. Old Chicken wants some blood here, but... will be down, but... Catch. This jug will break the base very quickly. They hate... Yeah. They probably have to give up this lane of racks and wait for the Spirit Break Oracle to be back. At least, just to have that, that defensive capabilities. They're also going to be looking for the enchantment into the fountain. Does he have it? Oh, oh he you got gotcha. it. He got it. Death Prophet into the fountain now. Deafening Blast is going to be averted with the help of the BKB, but all the meanwhile, they're still getting the blast onto the racks right now. Yep. And eventually, the Death Prophet will end going down. Good pick up there from Crit. If they can get this meter racks, they probably be pretty few with themselves, but Crit bought back. Spirit. He's in it now. CTY gets up the blade fury here, looking to step back. Now decides he wants to make a move for Miracle. Suicide right for Rax? Is he even going to get it? He's out. Oh, he's no CTY! Oh, no. Oh, that Observer Ward scouting out Kaka here. He's in trouble here, but there's 11. Pops the Lincolns, Yules up the Invoker. Goes for the Tornado. Wow, he actually gets the catch here. Miracle go. EMP going to be dropped, follow from Moon. I think it's the Night Stalker down. He's out over a minute. No buyback, and they might get 11. He's out too. Buy no back. buyback. Oh, screwing Ehome over here, and what's for two? He goes to Chant Remnant. He gets the grab. He kicks that Death Prophet right into trouble, and that means they're gonna get the grab. She goes down. Yep. And as you said, she does have buyback, but that's a free buyback right now for OG at the expense of just one enchant remnant. And here's OG now. Looking to swing in the mid lane. That's tier three. Gonna be going down. Now for the racks. They make the committed jump. They know they get death bits down and she's out for good, but they quickly pull off. I think Ehome just need to kind of cut their losses at some point. I don't think they want to pull the bad fight here, but CTY possibly with other ideas. Okay, they give up the racks. Gonna play things safe. Here comes OG like though. Looking for an unexpected play. It worked out for them before, and they might be able to get it again here. Eho might be just caught with their pants down. They're making their move for old chicken, and he's going to get the Yules off. But as he comes back down, it looks like they may be able to get him. They will. Ward's on the high ground, looking to do some work as CTY looks to manhole here for Miracle, but a quick false promise will get him away, inverted from danger. Omni oh, Slash gone for the crit! Oh, completely negated Omni Slash from CTY. is heartbreaking for Eho right now, and they're quickly on the retreat, making it back into the base, but it looks like OG. Might have been able to stay alive and potentially move this into a game three here as they're able to take down CTY. He does have buy back here. No tail though. Looking to get the fish for Kaka. Kaka just crawling himself back in the base. Will be able to make it into the fountain, but this is OG now going right for the racks on the bottom. Tier three already down, and it looks like the racks are set to fall and potentially the game. Yeah, talked about the death profits. A lot of it goes back to death profit being very under farm for a lot of this game and. The Octarine, the, the shorter cooldown's nice, but at some point you just need to get that boost to your armor. And